What's up, everyone? I'm Cisco Tallarino. Uh, this assignment is for my Management 330 Intro to Entrepreneurship class. Today, I'm here with my sister, Corinne Tallarino. Um, we're going to pick her brain about one of the problems she's been having recently and see what we can do to solve it. So, Corinne, what's the problem you've been dealing with recently? So, I just graduated college and I'm living at home with my parents. I just got a full time job, and one of the problems that myself as well as my parents are facing is that we're having a hard time potty training our new puppy. So we, j we had, um, we had just gotten our first dog about two years ago and she's pretty much potty trained. But then during the pandemic, when it started in March, we got a new puppy and she's still having a hard time being potty trained. So I'm trying to come up with a solution on what we can do to fix that issue so that when we come home from work, now that we're going back to school and working, then there's not accidents on the floor. Okay, so can you tell me a story about the last time this actually happened? So today when I got home from work, I asked my little brother, um, how are the dogs doing? That was the first question. I said, did they eat? How are they doing? And he said, they keep going pee. And I said, inside or outside? And he said, inside. And I said, well, did you let the dogs out to go pee? And he said, no. And I said, well, of course they're going to go pee inside because if they need to go to the bathroom that, and they can't be let outside, then they need somewhere to go to the bathroom. So they're going to go in the house. So that was the last time that happened. Oh, the youngest child is never wrong. You and I both know that. So <laughs> what would you say is the hardest part about this whole situation? The hardest is that our oldest dog doesn't really have this issue unless she really needs to go to the bathroom and nobody will let her out. So for the most part, she's really good. It's just the puppy, the new puppy that we have. And so um, it's hard because you want to reward our, our older dog. We want to reward her because she's doing the right thing and not going to the bathroom in the house. But then you look at the puppy and you're like, oh, well, I feel like I need to give her a treat too. And so we're almost rewarding her for bad behavior. So that's tough to like scold her and tell her she's doing the wrong thing, but then we're giving her praise by giving her treats and attention and love. So we need to find a solution to that problem because she needs to learn that she can't go to the bathroom in the house and we need to stop praising her. And why, why do you find this hard? Do you, do you feel like it's counterintuitive to say the very least. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is that she's just really cute and you can't help but like look at her and wanna give her a kiss or hug her or give her a treat. So it's hard because you, you wanna yell at her and tell her she's doing the wrong thing and like punish her by like putting her in timeout or something, but you really can't do that because she's cute and she doesn't, even though she knows that she's not supposed to do it, she really can't help it. So I think that's the hardest part. Um, how do you solve this problem now if you really just find a way? We're still trying to find a way. I think um, they need to be on more of a schedule. Now that we're starting to go, I'm working, my parents are working, my little brother is going to be starting to do school online. You're obviously at college, so they're not they're kind of straying away from their routine and the main way that we can get everybody on track is to get them in a good routine they need to eat as soon before my parents leave in the morning or before I leave in the morning and then they need to eat at lunch and then they need to eat for dinner and sometimes because of our schedules that doesn't happen and then that results in them not being let outside and, and I think we just really need to get a good schedule down and then they'll be able to have more routine and then maybe there won't be as many accidents in the house. And it's hard because people aren't home throughout the day, so they need to be, okay, they need to be let out as often as possible. And that's where Dominic comes in and tries to do his job, but you know, we all, yeah. it's not reliant. Well, that was very insightful, Corinne. I thank you for your assistance, and I hope we can come to a solution in the near future. Thank you.